The crypto contagion is far from over. However, these lesser known companies aren't getting the coverage they need. In addition to that, these three, well actually four companies are holding approximately $16 billion worth of Bitcoin, which is equivalent to over 600,000 Bitcoin, okay? And this also could have a lot of negative implications for a Bitcoin spot ETF. Let me explain. But before I do, make sure to like this video, share it. And if you're not subscribed to The O Show, everything crypto and NFTs, I'm Wendy O. Do it now because I got the tea for you. So the companies we're talking about, Grayscale, Digital Currency Group, Digital Currency Group International, and Genesis. Genesis was affiliated with Gemini and Gemini's Earn program. They're currently in bankruptcy, et cetera. But all of these companies are essentially owned by the same entity and they've done the same exact thing that FTX did. So basically what happened? Well, first let's actually start with the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust and the actual amount of Bitcoin because Grayscale always refused to showcase the addresses holding the Bitcoin, which that's what blockchain tech is for, is to be transparent. But there's a reason why. So Ancrum has identified the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust holding on chain, and they claim to have uncovered over 7, 1,750 addresses allegedly belonging to the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. And when combined, they're holding approximately 628,000 Bitcoin worth $16 billion. Um, the trust also controls an additional 3.03 million of Ethereum worth approximately 4.9 billion. And according to the report, the amounts are consistent with Grayscale self-reports on its own website, suggesting reserves sufficient to satisfy potential redemption needs. The problem with that, there's commingling of funds. There's fraudulent activities happening. So if you are a part of the Grayscale Trust, Bitcoin Trust, or any other of their traditional financial service products, you can get hit, okay? Next. DCG knew about the crypto contagion before anybody else. And again, Digital Currency Group is a sister company of Grayscale, all related, okay? So according to a good friend of mine, Abacus, he shared an update on Digital Currency Group. DCG knew 3AC was insolvent before anyone else, and they bought their GBTC bags. DCG also knew FTX was insolvent for anyone else, and they took out huge loans from themselves, Genesis, which is also controlled by DCG. DCG also knew that Genesis was insolvent before anyone else. So they took money out from their sister company, Genesis, even though Genesis essentially was insolvent and they knew. In addition to that, DCG knew that they had to forever pay back billions of loans to bankrupt Genesis. Basically, there was no maturity date. And I think the interest rate was like three or 4%. So they were able to borrow this money. They were able to commit fraud. They were able to commingle funds and have no accountability any way at all because they were trying to hold on as long as possible for the market to appreciate and essentially get out of bankruptcy. Also, 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 DCG went in on the GBTC and Grayscale carry trade and loss while they're also paying themselves huge fees. And again, Digital Currency Group controls Grayscale. I know this is a little bit confusing, but this is important information. Also, Digital Currency Group took all of the Bitcoin out of Genesis right before they acknowledged their massive 3AC loss. So they lost money to everybody, and it's all affiliated with FTF and Alameda and Three Arrows Capital and Celsius and Voyager and everybody. Every, it's like this big, big drama. Okay, also too, Genesis Global Capital files for over 600 million in unpaid DCG loans, okay? <sighs> Genesis filed a suit against DCG and Digital Currency Group International. So two of the same companies. So we have Digital Currency Group, Digital Currency Group International, and Genesis and Grayscale. Like, this is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. But basically, they're suing themselves for $600 million. And who knows what's going to happen? Who knows if they're solvent? Who knows if they have money? So the reason why this is bad for the... Um, for Bitcoin spot ETFs is because Grayscale has got so much dirt on them at this point. Like there's four companies involved. They're pretty much all insolvent, all commingling funds, all committing fraud, all doing terrible things. And they want to get a Bitcoin spot ETF approved. Grayscale might actually hold all of the reserves for the GBTC trust, but at the end of the day, will the SEC approve that? I don't know, you guys, comment your thoughts below. I know this is a lot of information, but it's basically, um, one entity that has four businesses all under the same umbrella that's committing fraud and commingling co funds. Um, they also knew that FTX was insolvent, Three Arrows Capital was insolvent, and who knows what else is going to come out. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, set alerts. Goodbye!